Allstate, you're in good hands with Allstate. CBC News with Milton Nash. Good evening. Here are tonight's top news story. Saddam Hussein moves to hold on to power by shaking up his government. Hussein keeps most power for himself, but he makes Shiite Saddam Hamadi prime minister, and he demotes his foreign minister, Tariq Aziz. George Bush says he isn't impressed. Uh, normal relations with the United States cannot be affected, uh, with Saddam Hussein still calling the shots. In southern Iraq, a chaotic food riot as coalition forces hand out rice and bread to the starving. In the free-for-all, men even stole food from a child. At least five people are killed in Kentucky and Tennessee as tornadoes hit the U.S. south. The twisters wreck homes and businesses. Dozens of people are hurt. Olympic officials go to South Africa to see if apartheid is being wiped out. If it is, South Africa may be in the next Olympic Games. More news on the National. Now back to Hockey Night in Canada. After 40 minutes at Northlands Coliseum, Jets lead Edmonton by two. Barring overtime, the Jets have 20 minutes to go before their playoff hopes look better. Ed Olchuk was involved in one of the season's major trades and thought he was going to a playoff contender when the Jets got him from Toronto. Turned out you were, but I guess you just never thought you'd be contending this late. <laughs> well, it's been really a, kind of a... The only consistent thing we've done this year has been inconsistent. And uh, I think it's been frustrating on everybody, especially the coaching staff and the players. And, uh, you know, we haven't done anything easy this year, and uh, it's going to go right down to the final couple games. And... Uh, and we feel we're playing better, even though last night, you know, Vancouver's made some good acquisitions, and they're playing very good hockey right now. February 20th, they played the Vancouver Canucks at the Winnipeg Arena. Let them going into the game by six points. Let them off the hook as they came back to tie it. And I thought that's where things began to become unraveled for you. Well, we were playing very good hockey at the time, and, uh, you know, we had a two-goal lead there at the start of the third period. They came back, tied it up. We scored the minute left, and then uh, Bozak scored with seven seconds left. And... Like you say, that was kind of the, the turning point there, and we did, we really didn't play good hockey until maybe the last three or four games. Your thoughts on having to finish the season on a two-week road trip in your own division, and has this made you any less of a curling fan? <laughs> of course, because of the World Curling Championships in the Winnipeg Arena. Well, I think uh, you know just the way that's the way the schedule worked out, and uh, you got to be in order to win this league, you have to be a good road team, and uh, we've kind of had our uh, bits and uh, spurts of playing good on the road, and. Uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. It would be nice to be playing at home, but we're not, and we have to learn to live with it. Only three games to go uh, after tonight, two for you guys, I should say, three for the Canucks. Uh, you still, though, need a slide rule to figure out all the possible combinations. Suffice to say, you guys can help yourselves a lot by winning tonight. Yeah, we're, we're back even with them. We both have two games left there in Calgary Tuesday, then we play them Thursday night for their last game, and then we come back here next Sunday. And we feel if we win tonight that, uh, you know, hopefully we can set it up for that Thursday night game in Vancouver. And Old Chuck's Jets need a win tonight, and they leave the Oilers by two after two periods. Hockey Night in Canada will return in just a moment.